Satan can be destroyed or locked up. Therefore, he is not worthy to be worshipped. Jesus Christ is the only one worthy to be worshipped. Oh, it's so sad because most people, most of humanity on earth and people that have ever lived, they worship the things that Satan has created and try to influence us to separate us from God. You see, Revelation chapter 20, starting in verse 1, says... Let me get to it. And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years and cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal upon him that he should deceive the nations no more till the thousand years should be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loosed a little season. See right there. Right then and there, Satan is locked up by the, the great angel. He holds the keys. You know, but who gives the angel the power to lock Satan up? God, of course. You know what I mean? Even in Revelation, when John bows down, he worships like in the vision. He worships the angel and says, no. And then the angel says, stand up. He goes, only worship God. I feel like it's just so hard for humans to like conceive the concept that Jesus loves them, that he is the Christ. He is the Messiah. He died over 2000 years ago. Like they can never like really understand that because their brain is so filled with sin and hedonism and lust and sex and pleasures and the pride of this life so that's all they care about but if only if they could just get that out of their mind and really keep their eyes on christ it's kind of like it's when jesus says to someone he goes why would i speak of heavenly things when like when i speak of earthly things you don't even understand those you mean like why would i speak of heavenly things it's kind of like it's hard for people to understand the love of god when they don't even want to receive him when they don't even want to they don't have ears to hear they don't have eyes to see so how are they going to even receive the true gospel <sighs> it sucks man it sucks like it's just so it breaks my heart man it breaks my heart but it is what it is i mean satan can be destroyed he can be locked up so therefore he is not worthy to be worshipped his things on this earth the money the sex the drugs the fame the celebrities the politicians bro none of that matters your vote does not matter i promise you right now they decide that the head at least those evil satan worshipers they decide who becomes the president you standing in line for hours thinking you're a part of something thinking you're you're a part of this government and democracy bro you're not a part of nothing they decide everything satan is the god of this world it says in the bible he's the prince of the air you literally even GSP, who was a very famous UFC fighter, one of the best ever, he was describing on a Joe Rogan podcast how his effect on the universe is so small that, like, one of his favorite things he would do the day before a fight or I think the day of his fight, he would drive through Vegas and he would just look at normal people, like people at the bank, people just wherever. And he's like, I realize the effect I have on this world and in the universe is so small, it's like not even funny. He goes, this person over there is arguing with that person. This woman's probably not even going to hear about my fight. It's the same way with us humans. It's like, bro, our effect on this earth is so minuscule. It's like you don't even have an effect on the universe unless you're doing things for Christ. Because he holds the universe within his palm because he is almighty. So unless you're doing things for Jesus, your effect on the universe is literally zero. It's nothing because it's all temporary. Think about the kings of 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 years ago. People that were popular, they were rich. No one talks about them no more. Yet, Jesus still gets talked about to this day. In Deadpool and the Wolverine, he was getting mocked. He was getting blasphemed. Like, this is a spoiler alert. But after Deadpool lives and he doesn't die from, he was about to die in the movie. He goes, he is risen. Who is he describing? He's describing Jesus, you know, when he rises from the dead. So it's like, even to this day. Jesus gets brought up in media and movies and the Olympics, bro. In the Olympics, they just m made fun of the Passover. Like how many more times does Satan have to describe and make fun of Jesus in the Bible and Christianity for you to get it into your head that he is real and he actually is the God of this earth and none of these earthly things matter. That's why celebrities kill themselves, millionaires kill themselves, billionaires kill themselves. They, every celebrity you can interview, you can find it countless interviews oh well it's not that fun it's empty it's boring you know having women drugs millions of dollars all those things i thought i was gonna make me happy but it never does all of them say the same exact thing you know why because the purpose their soul is mourning for the living god but yet they refuse 
to show their face to the living God. They refuse to spend time with him in his word and his prayer. They refuse because they'd rather soak up their time with the things of this world. Because it's easy. It's really easy, you know what I mean? I used to be such a lazy kid that didn't read his Bible, didn't care, didn't go to the gym, didn't care about life. I would just complain. I would curse God and I would just say, why me? Why me? But it's like, bro, it's your fault because you don't want to take the time to go to the gym. You don't want to take the time to read the Bible. You don't ask God for things and therefore you will not receive. You, 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 you take accountability for your actions because it is up to us humans. He gives us free will. Someone right now is probably going through some evil, wicked thing right now. But God can't intervene intervene, because he gives us free will. If he were to intervene every time something evil is about to happen, we would not have free will. So he just has to let it happen for a little season. And once the son of perdition, the Antichrist, comes through, the son of man will come through. And he we will be raptured up. And that's when, oof, man, after the tribulation, then he will kill the Antichrist. Then Christ will rain down and have his reign on the earth for 1,000 years, but I'll, that's another video. <laughs> but my point is, Satan can be destroyed and he can be locked up. So do not worship him. Do not worship the things of this earth because trust me, Cristiano Ronaldo, can you think? Can you take your fame and your millions of dollars with you when you die? He would say no. So therefore, worship Jesus. Do not fear a man who can only destroy the body. Fear the living God who can destroy the, both body and the soul in hell. Praise God.